Welcome back friends. In this session, we are going to see the second set of interview readiness questions from electrical machines. Maybe about 10 questions we will handle in this session and we will follow that up in the next session shortly. So let's get into the questions right away. We have seen this first set of questions in the last session which spoke about uh, motors, Faraday's law, uh, cohesive force, counter voltage etc. In this session we are going to go a little better. What are all the types of AC motors? The AC motors can be classified broadly as induction motor and synchronous motor. The induction motor can be further classified as single phase and three phase. Single phase gets further classified as capacitor start, split phase, capacitor start, capacitor run, shaded pole motors and three phase gets classified as squirrel gauge and wound rotor. So these are all the types. At least know few of this in the interview so that you can manage. What is a back pitch? This is an important question with respect to interview. Back pitch is the distance between the top and the bottom coil sides. Um, we have top side and the bottom side of a coil and this is the distance between the top and the bottom coil sides and this is measured around the back of the armature away from the commutator. This is very important. You cannot just like that say that it is just the distance between the top and the bottom coil sides. You need to also mention that the measurement is around the back of the armature and away from the commutator. It's a very important point to understand. Define difference between series and shunt motor. They will at least expect you to have two or three differences highlighted in the interview. Um, series motor, shunt motor. For series motor, it can be started only with the load. It can be started with no load in shunt motor. High starting torque for series motor is required. Starting torque is less compared to series motor in shunt motor. Less number of turns in winding for series motor, more number of winding turns in shunt motor. Series motor has field windings connected in series with the armature. The term is very clear, so it is series. A shunt motor has got field windings connected in parallel. Again, this, this, this point is very important, so do not forget it. Variable speed motor for series and constant speed motor for shunt. You need to remember this. What is a flywheel? Flywheel is nothing but a disc that is used to store rotational energy. Just remember it. Flywheel is a disc used to store rotational energy. It is a rotational mechanical device. It is a rotational mechanical device. In general, they are DC compound motors in which amount of energy stored is proportional to the square of its rotational speed. So we can store rotational energy in it and it is fundamentally DC compound motors. What will happen when a DC motor is connected to an AC source? These kind of questions will come in the interview for sure. The motor will start and rotate in the reverse direction. Because of this, excessive heat will be generated and it will in turn burn the coil quickly. So it is not advisable to do that. What is cogging? It is such an important question. Cogging is a condition that arrives in induction motor which occurs when there are equal number of slots in rotor and stator. We have got rotor and stator in any motor and in induction motor when we have equal number of rotor and stator slots we will get this cogging. Why? If the slots are equal then the motor will not start due to the coincidence of the slot frequencies with the harmonic frequencies which will cause torque variation. So we can just like this say when the slot numbers are equal the motor will not start because there will be coincidence of the frequencies. If you say this way itself that is sufficient. But if you are more technically stronger, you can say the rest of the points also. What is air gap? There are uh, normally two types of windings in transformers. One is called the primary winding and the second is called as a secondary winding. We know it all. The primary winding is on the source side and the secondary winding is on the output side. The gap between these two is referred as air gap. What is auto transformer? Auto transformers are the machine that consists only one winding which will act as both primary and secondary winding. The voltage difference between these two points act as a potential difference which will help you to get the output at certain point of the winding. You need to say that auto transformers are special and they have got only one winding that winding will act as primary and secondary windings that is enough. What is Lenz law? Lenz law states that the direction of an induced EMF in a coil in such a way that it opposes it opposes the change 
producing it. The direction of an induced EMF in a coil is in such a way that it opposes the change producing it. You have an equation for it, you need to remember it as well. So please remember this last correctly. Um, you will have to even mug up at times. What is MMF method? The method of determining the regulation of an alternator is called as ampere turn method or Rotha's MMF method. So we are going to determine just the regulation of an alternator. That's it. This method is based on the results of open circuit test and short circuit test of an alternator. Remember this, all these are very important. What is generator? Generator is an electromechanical device which will convert mechanical energy to electrical energy. What is a motor? A motor is the one that converts electrical energy to, I mean, uh, we, we saw this definition earlier, right? So we will feed in electrical energy that will be converted to rotational energy. So here, it is just opposite. We have got mechanical energy that is getting converted to electrical energy. Here we have Faraday's law being obeyed and this is the simple example that you can, I mean, this is the simple way you can connect this generator to the Faraday's law. We will see the next set of questions shortly in the next session. Maybe in a day or two I will be able to uh, upload the next set of questions. Until then it is bye from me. Here again, uh, I just wanted to highlight the definition. It is the, uh, what is a motor? A motor is nothing but it converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. There, what we have seen now is different. So please remember all these and correlate them properly in the interview. Thank you very much for following my channel. If you have any questions, suggestions, inputs, please go ahead and type it. Um, if you like the channel, please subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.